a CMA-winning country music star. He's so talented, he could sing the Star Spangled Banner and make a grown man cry. His latest album is called Higher. Please welcome Chris Stapleton. <laughs> I'm still so impressed that uh, you were able to. I mean, that was, it's unbelievable that you could. I'm do still that. so impressed that you threw John Stamos on me just as a surprise. John, by that's the way. A, that's going pretty far for a gag. He asked me to give you a gift and you can, uh, <laughs> you know, take this home to the family. That's uh, for I'm later. Sure. Yes. <laughs> that's rare right there. Um, you did something that I have to say. I get a lot of emails and almost none of them I like. Uh, I got an email from you saying, hey, when I'm on the show, what song would you like me to do? And I was like, oh, this is exciting. I get to pick the song. Would I'll you have done any song I, I requested, or were there well, songs? hopefully it would have been off the record, but... Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, right. I would have at least considered it, yeah. <laughs> like, if I was like, yeah, I'd love to hear you do Hava Nagila, that would be something maybe you'd... I mean, I would have had to work it up. You'd work it up, yeah. okay. I asked for uh, the song, It Takes a Woman, which is a song I, I mean, I, I really enjoy most of your music, if not all of your music. I particularly have enjoyed that one off the new album. And Thank I you. thought maybe it was one that you hadn't done live on TV before. Not just on TV, we haven't played it live anywhere. So we're gonna play it live for the first time here. Excellent, excellent. This is a song, I assume um, it is about your wife, Morgan, It Takes Absolutely, a Woman? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have to be about, and is she at this point, like, you dedicated, I know, the album to her. Um, is, she, uh, is she, like, impressed by a gesture like this? Or is she like, this is your fifth album, why did this take so long? <laughs> Maybe both. Maybe I a little each. When you dedicate, you have a song, you write these beautiful songs about your wife. Does it make it difficult to for her to like get you? So I know your birthday was on uh, tax day, right? Uh, right, yeah, yeah. What did she get you for that day? Uh, Paid my taxes. No, um, <laughs> she got me a book. I'm, I like. Uh, I'm a big uh, James Bond fan. I like James Bond. Okay. Stuff, action movie stuff. But she got me this book that was. They were all these destinations from Bond films, like places where they, the locations where they filmed. It. And her idea was, hey, maybe we should go to one of these places. We haven't planned it yet, but we're gonna flip through the book and. Oh, that's a great maybe, idea. Maybe pick some place and go see. Some, something exotic from a bond. Film. That's a very clever idea. And you're not at the point in your life where you're like, I travel so much, I just don't, I don't ever want to go anywhere. I, I'd rather stay home. No, I'm, I'm that too. But you are uh, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but my wife would like to go see some things too. So. Yeah, your wife would like to have some fun for a change. Yeah. I know. Oh, you also have your own whiskey now. I do. Yeah. Which is uh, Traveler whiskey. That's correct. I was wondering when that was going to happen because you cover Tennessee whiskey and it comes out and I actually thought about it at the time. Oh my God, there must be a million whiskey companies banging on your door to do something. We had a lot of them, yeah. But um, we were waiting for the right thing to do and this was it. So. Yeah. Have you thought about writing songs about other products that might <laughs> be financial, like Skittles or dog food or something like that? We'll see how the whiskey thing turns out. You see how the... <laughs> uh, this is a, a photo that uh, we obtained from your, I believe, your high school yearbook. This is uh, what's a good one right this? there. What year are we talking about here? That looks like uh, 95, 96. And you 96, were yeah. what, 33, 34 years old in this picture? <laughs> how is it possible that you were younger now than you were in high school? <laughs> I don't know, man. Were you the shop teacher at your high school? I, I was. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it says, the quote here is uh, interesting. It was cool to get to sing for the governor. The governor of Kentucky you sang for? I assume so. If I said that, I <laughs> I don't really recall. <laughs> really? I'm pleading the fifth on that one. I don't remember doing that, but I, I'm assuming that I did. I don't know if it was the national anthem or what What I I did that song back then. Wow. And then here's another one. Uh, you oh, were, that's a good one. You were uh, voted uh, most stylish, that, which is pretty sweet. And there, yeah. Is that your Mustang? That's my car. Right That's there. your car. Hey, go in a little, go in farther if you can. Um, I want to get a look at what most stylish look like there. Oh yeah. Were you? It's no, 1996. It has a snappy dresser. Oh yeah. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> did you like run for student council or anything like that? I did everything that was available to do. Did you? Yeah, absolutely. Were you yeah. a good student? Uh, I was a valedictorian. If that was valedictorian, <laughs> is pretty, that means good. Yeah. 
Will you ever shave your beard? Is that something that you... That's my retirement plan. Because you have a nice you cleft in your chin, very, like, John Travolta. I mean, it's uh, something I, I think... I appreciate you saying America that. America would like to see. Maybe you could just shave that part of just, it. Just that part? <laughs> well, I mean, I could go through the Dwayne Allman phase and get the chops coming out. Oh, yeah. You. It could be like, you know, that little Willie, uh, that hair thing where you just, you start with mutton chops and just the beard and... Yeah, I mean, spin a wheel, I don't know. It's just... <laughs> That is your plan, though, to shave the beard one day? Yeah, if I would, ever wanted to disappear, I would just have to, you know, shave and just go disappear somewhere. Do you like think you would ever, like, because it's interesting. I went and saw Bruce Springsteen last week, and he's, like, still great, and you see these artists that are still touring. Is retiring something you would ever even consider? Uh, I mean, I love to play music. I get, I get oh. you know, I get paid to do something I would do for free. So I don't really think that that would be, I would ever fully considered not doing that. Right, yeah. If yeah. I ever, you know, had to because I was running from the law or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the negatives about being uh, famous is that yeah. it's harder to run from the law. Yeah, 100%. All right, so you're going to do uh, uh, the song, that It Takes a Woman, which is true, by the way. Without women, none of us would be here. It does take a woman. 100%. Yes, I mean... At least one woman. Yeah. <laughs> At least one woman, but you and I both know it takes more than that. So. Yeah. We are going to uh, we're going to our outdoor stage. We haven't been on that thing for I'm over pumped. four years. We're very excited to have yeah, you I'm here. so glad that we get to open that thing back up. Please, guys. open it. Yeah. Chris Stapleton, everybody. This is his album. And it's called Higher. We'll be right back with Chris Stapleton. Put on back.